In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Level Smart Wireless Autofill System from H2 Flow Control. And these are the same guys that make the FlowViz Flow Meter, which if you follow my uh, YouTube channel at all, we talk about that all the time. Same guys, this is a product that you might be interested in if you have a situation where you're having to drag your garden hose out and fill up your swimming pool periodically, actually maybe a little bit more than periodically. This is a product that's going to help you automate that process. So what's the big deal? You got to fill up your swimming pool, right? Well, it's actually quite a lot of water and it takes a while and it's a little bit of a pain. Let's say you have a 20 by 40 pool, right? And you've lost one inch of water, right? It's one inch of water. How much is that? Well, it's about 500 gallons. So a five gallon bucket filled up 100 times. Okay, it's a lot of water, definitely. And if you already know this. If you have to drag your, your hose out a couple of times a week to fill up your pool, it's common in some areas where there's a lot of evaporation of pool water. So this system is a wireless process that's going to help automate that filling. And it's not something that's new in the extent, like there are other auto fill systems that do exist for swimming pools. Like, I mean, I installed those things 20 plus years ago and they weren't, you know, digital or automated at all. They were very analog, very basic, basically just a float valve, exactly the same thing that's in the back of your toilet tank. And you set it for the water level. And if the water level goes too low, then the, the little styrofoam block drops down and it opens a water valve and as the water level rises back up the styrofoam block floats and then it closes that float valve they're very basic they're not very expensive they work pretty good right until they don't as a pool builder it's something that i definitely noted is it's a great product to have you want an automatic water fill system but they're not terribly reliable and they do break easily like i live in an area with a lot of freeze and thaw conditions in the winter and it's very difficult for a lot of things and winterizing those those old analog water fill units is kind of a problem. I say they break more often than they should. I think that's a very fair statement to make, especially in cold climate areas where it's hard to winterize that thing. So this product is a total rethink to that. It's just like a digital version of the same thing. So instead of having mechanical and analog things like a physical float valve and pieces of styrofoam that move up and down, it's all just done digitally and it transmits the signal electronically to the pool system where your, you know, pump and filter and heater and all that stuff is. This is where this autofill unit gets in installed. So there's a two piece thing. You got the part that goes on the pool, usually into the pool skimmer and it measures the water level. It transmits that data to the solenoid, which is in installed in the equipment side, usually on the pressure side of the filter, but before the chlorine injection system. And this little solenoid is going to take the data that is transmitted from the wireless receiver inside of the pool skimmer and it's going to determine whether it needs to open and add water or not. If water is needed, it's going to open for a seven minute period of time before closing. And then every 30 minutes, that wireless sensor is going to take another water level reading, say, yes, we are good or no, we're not good. Open for another seven minutes, add some more water. So that's how the whole system works. And I think it goes up to a, a thousand feet is how far it will transmit between the two devices. And I actually think that there's an option to add something onto it, like an extender for the antenna. So you can even go further than that. It was already pretty far for a residential pool. You're probably okay with that. This works on a new pool installation. This works on existing pool installations. This is a great product. Let's open it up together now and see what you're going to get in the box if you buy one for yourself. Level Smart Wireless Autofill, a product by H2 Flow Control. It's h2flow.net. Ooh, fancy. I love doing these unboxing videos. All right. So we got that piece. I always say the same thing, like instruction manuals, read them. I mean, I don't read them, but you should read them. Okay, a couple of different components here. This is, I recognize this is definitely a solenoid here. So this thing is going to be powered and it's going to open and close a valve, which will allow water through or not allow water through as the case may be. Oh, a little more components here. Okay, here we go. This is part of it here. Just kind of spread this all out and take a look at what we've got. Oh boy, yeah. 
There we go. Okay, that is all the parts and pieces on the table. I was wrong. Okay, now all the parts and pieces are on the table. Okay, so it's a little bit of a little. Oh, it's interesting. I see how they do. I'll explain in one second. Okay, so in the little baggie here, nothing illicit. It is two-part epoxy. I recognize that stuff because we use that in the pool and spa industry all the time. It's a little AB putty that's in a stick and you kind of cut off how much you need and squoosh it up in your fingers and then you can put it in place and it kind of sticks to pretty much everything including like tile, concrete, wood, like you name it. It'll stick to your thumb if you, if you let it set on there. And then it hardens like steel, like machinably hard. So I think that's probably what they've given you here in terms of like a mounting method is take this thing and you're going to apply that to the sensor that goes into the skimmer mouth and then you just squish it in place and it's just going to stick on regardless of what you've got, plaster, tile, whatever the case is. This stuff will probably just stick right on there. And it would stick on like appreciably strong. Like this stuff's hard. Like you'd struggle to like pull it off. So in terms of holding up the weight of something that weighs like an ounce, no problem. This is probably a one and done for life, I would imagine. You stick this thing on, you're probably never going to have any problems with it falling off. We also have a couple of tiny little morettes in there and a couple of wood screws. So here, this is the antenna, clearly. Looks to be about, I don't know, six foot long, something like that. Okay, so we have two different components here. So how this works here, you've got the valve controller, you've got the part that's going to go into the skimmer that measures the water level. So this thing here you would mount with the two wood screws that came provided in that little bag. And that's going to be the thing which tells the solenoid whether it should open or close and add water or not. This little guy here is the one that you're going to use the two-part epoxy on. It's going to go into the skimmer. It's the thing that every 30 minutes checks the water level of the pool and tells the solenoid and controller whether it should be opening or closing. Now I do want to mention something very important here because you might just pick one of these up and install it for yourself and never even think about the fact that you probably live in an area, most of you will live in an area, where if you're going to connect a fresh water supply line to a swimming pool system, for example, that's what we're talking about doing here, taking your pressurized house supply of water and we're going to connect it to the pool system through this solenoid here and fill the pool and all that is well and good but you probably need something called a backflow preventer. Let's imagine a situation where something's gone wrong. There was a pipe failure or a break or who knows what's gone wrong. But in the world of plumbing, what can happen is sometimes for reasons, the water can flow in the wrong direction. And if that were to happen for any number of reasons, your swimming pool water could actually be drawn through this fill line and into the source supply water, both for your house but further than that, it can go into the, the city or municipality supply and it can cause contamination. That's something that I've read about and heard about happening before too, especially people like a, you own a salt chlorine pool. You have a failure exactly as I've described. That salt travels backwards through the system and into the city supply and they do not like that one bit, let me tell you. It's such a serious thing that a lot of areas, it's not even good enough to have a backflow preventer. You need a double backflow preventer. So what you really need to do is you need to speak with a local plumber or a local plumbing inspector that knows your area and your plumbing code. And then you can find out what's the deal here. I want to connect a pressurized house supply line of water to my pool system, but I've heard I might need a backflow preventer or a double backflow preventer. And I just want to point out, all that information is independent of this product. It wouldn't matter what, who made this product or exactly how it worked. If you have a pool system and you're connecting a freshwater supply line to it, this is a code thing. You're probably in need of a backflow preventer, if not a double backflow flow preventer. It's still something that I recommend and it would apply to any other kind of automatic water fill system that you can install on a swimming pool. Just so happens that we're talking about this one here today. So I hope you found this information helpful. Now you know what you're going to get in the box when you order one of these systems from H2 Flow Control. You understand how it works, what it's designed to do. And if you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com. If you stay tuned and you stay subscribed to this YouTube channel, you'll probably see the video coming out shortly where I install this system and show you how to use it together.